Hi guys! Today we're going to learn how to represent a complex number in Cartesian form. What is complex number? Complex number can be written as Z equals to A, A is the real part and B, I, B is the imaginary part. Okay, and on Argon diagram, X represents the real axis and Y is the imaginary axis. We can also find the distance, the modulus Z, alright, the distance from origin 0 to the point A, B by using the formula of distance, alright. And it is always positive. And the argument is actually the angle near to the x axis, right? The real axis that is arc tangent B over A. How to write complex number in polar form? So we have the Cartesian form is like this. So the polar form is R cos theta plus I sine theta. Theta is in radian. So the first example, find the modulus and argument, hence expressed in polar form. So the first one is 2 plus I. So we're going to plot 2 on the real axis, 2 and 1 on the imaginary axis. So we get point P in the first quadrant and R there. And then the angle is the reference angle. Alright, so the modulus Z, substitute into the formula and then get the answer. Then the argument is arctangent B over A, right, in radian. Right, to express in polar form, so we have to substitute back the modulus that we get, square root of 5, substitute there, and then cos theta plus I sine theta in radian. The next question is 5 minus 4i, so the first step is to sketch, that will be easier for us to know which quadrant is that. So we have 5 on the real axis, and negative 4 on the imaginary axis. And then we get point P in the fourth quadrant. You see, we have to find the modulus first. Uh, that is the second step. So don't forget the negative sign, B negative 4 there. So you get the answer. And since the angle is rotating clockwise, so we will have negative alpha that is the reference angle. Okay, so to find the argument that is negative alpha. So negative arctangent B over A. Here we omit the negative sign for B. Alright, then we calculate in radian. Now we express in polar form. We have modulus Z substitute into R. And then the argument substitute into theta. We have the negative sign there. Alright. So I sine theta. Okay. Next, we have negative 4 plus 2i. So, the first step is to sketch negative 4 on the real axis, 2 on the imaginary axis, and then we have r, and point P is in the second quadrant. So, we have theta is rotating anti-clockwise. So, the second step is to find the modulus. Don't forget to substitute a square that is negative, plus b square, and then we get the answer. Alright, to find the argument, we have to find the alpha reference angle of tangent B over A. And here, we omit the negative sign. Ignore the negative sign. Then, we calculate in radian. To find theta argument that is rotating anti-clockwise, that would be positive. Pi minus alpha, substitute alpha back. Then, the answer is in radian. And to express in polar form, we just have to substitute modulus back into R there and then cos theta plus I sine theta make sure that is in radian. Now the last one here if we notice both real and imaginary parts are negative so guess which quadrant is that right so first we're going to sketch negative 1 on real axis and negative square root of 3 on the imaginary axis so that will be on the third quadrant we have theta there Theta is rotating clockwise and we have alpha as the reference angle. So the argument is negative pi minus alpha. Alright, to find the modulus, we need to substitute into the formula. Don't forget the negative sign there. Then we get the answer. Alright, the reference angle alpha is arctangent B over A. And we omit the negative sign. We ignore the negative sign first. Then we calculate in radian. So the argument is negative pi minus alpha, substitute alpha back. 
then we get the answer. So the polar form, we just have to substitute the modulus back, square root of 2, and then the theta in radian. Okay, that's it. Thank you.